What could this box with the shape of a guitar case be? Huh. How exciting, right? Ortega Guitars got in touch with me recently because they saw my videos collaborating with Sean and Guitar Goddess. They sent me a couple things. This is one of them. It's called the Horse Kick. I'm gonna test this soon. But let's see what else is in this box. Hmm. Wow. It's beautiful. Wow, this is really pretty. Ah, I wish you could smell it right now. Today is my anniversary. I don't wanna do this to my wife and be here in the office while well, she's so lonely over there crying. I'm gonna give you a review on this guitar tomorrow. For you tomorrow means in three, two, one. And we're back. Well, I have right here this beautiful striped sweet Ortega guitar. Wow. What a beauty. So I'm gonna play this song I wrote because this guitar has its own pickup by Ortega. I have these two microphones set up so you can hear the acoustics. And then the second time around, you're gonna hear just the pickup of the guitar. The third time is gonna be a blend of 50% microphones and 50% the pickup. See what you think. Just a pickup. Now both microphones and pickup. I think it's super comfortable. The bevel right here, that was a super nice touch. Let me show you in the other camera over here. This thing here makes a whole difference when you're playing for long periods of time. To just have your arm resting there, it's, that's why it's called the arm rest, of course. It's so comfy to play. I mean, I could play this guitar for hours. And then the neck, it's a medium-sized neck. If you are uh, used to playing a steel string guitar or an electric guitar, transitioning to a nylon string guitar that has a medium neck and not the classical style that is a wider neck, that, that's the one I prefer, but this guitar is just still very comfortable to play. Perfect transition instrument. Another cool thing of this guitar is it has a built-in tuner, so that's pretty cool. Of course, it has an ebony, striped ebony right here in the back and the sides. It's a beautiful instrument. And the top, Alaska Spruce, that color, that light color is beautiful. It's a gorgeous guitar. And I really want to say thank you, Ortega, for sending me this guitar for believing in me in my videos. Let me give you a, a quick demo on a couple different genres that you can play with an instrument like this. For example, you can play bossa nova. You can play um, flamenco. You can play even blues, but since I, it's not my specialty to play blues, let me grab my coffee, have a little drink, and then I'll be ready to play blues for you. Time for some blues. Get out of here. <laughs> you should consider getting an electric acoustic guitar. I remember my first electric acoustic guitar. It brought me so much joy. And you're trying to decide, should I get an all acoustic guitar or an acoustic electric guitar? I think it's nice to have the ability to connect to an amplifier or to a PA. If you go to an open mic and you take your all acoustic guitar, you're gonna struggle so much trying to position the mic in the right place so you can get the full sound of the guitar. It's really handy to have the option. You're gonna enjoy an instrument like this, so check it out. The Stripe Suite from Ortega Guitars. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when I put a new video. And I leave you with this song I wrote. It's called Para No Amarte. No sé cómo hacer para no pensarte, para no buscarte en cada rayo de luz. No sé cómo hacer para no extrañarte, 
Segundos después que me aparto de ti No sé cómo hacer para no aburrirte Con esas palabras que ni quise decir No sé cómo hacer para sonreírte Cuando estoy perdido en tus ojos de cristal 